What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Stangosaurus vlog. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. This, of course, being Stangosaurus behind me here. And before we get into anything today, first I want to remind you guys, October 20th, Maple Grove Raceway here in PA, there is going to be the YouTube call out. I will be there. So if you are there as well, be sure to come by, say hi. If you want to be in that vlog, let me know. But today we are going to be doing something completely different. As you can tell by the title of the video, I, of course, already reviewed this car. Typically with my reviews, I like to stay to the basics because I don't want to eat up too much of everybody's time but there are actually 10 really cool things about the S550 Ford Mustang that I bet you guys some of you guys probably do not know so that is what we are going to do today so let's get started and so starting on the inside, first thing I wanted to mention is when you first get into the Ford Mustang, that engine start stop button, it actually will flash at the same rate of the average resting heartbeat of a Mustang, which is 30 beats per minute. And so it is going to flash red for you. And I know to a lot of people that is going to seem pretty normal, but I bet you didn't know that it flashed red at 30 beats per minute, which is the same resting heartbeat of an actual Mustang. So I thought that was pretty cool to mention. And so the next thing I wanted to mention is on the key fob here, if you press unlock three times, the windows will actually go down. Let me demonstrate, two, three. So that is pretty cool. So on super hot days, all you need to do is press the unlock button three times and those windows will go down for you. So kind of cool there. But so then the next thing I wanted to mention, I had mentioned this in a previous video, but I find it extremely pretty cool and convenient, by the way. There's three little lines on the door handle there. If you hold that down, that is going to lock the car. So you actually don't have to take the keys out of your pocket, but if you put your hand behind there, you guys can probably hear it's going to unlock. So listen closely here. You're going to actually hear it lock and unlock here. So that is definitely pretty convenient. So I wanted to mention that as well. And so then the next thing I wanted to mention, you guys see that little plastic looking doohickey with the three lines on it there. That is actually a sunglass holder. And there aren't a lot of people that actually know that unless you have a Ford Mustang, of course, because on most vehicles, like I know in several Subarus I've reviewed, if you try to take that little plastic clip off, it is absolutely nothing. There's nothing behind it. But in the Ford Mustang, it is indeed a sunglass holder. And if you don't want it to be a sunglass holder, it's just simply a hidden compartment, really. So that is pretty cool that that is there. You can store whatever you want in there and almost nobody is going to know that that is even there so and so the next thing i wanted to mention let's swing over to the passenger side here because this is going to be a little glove box feature that maybe you didn't know about of course you have the regular glove box but you see that little yellow thing at the top there you guys if you press that little yellow thing that is actually a separate kind of hidden glove box that is specifically made to hold the owner's manual and again you don't have to put the owner's manual up there you can put whatever you want up there but it is kind of a hidden compartment specifically made for the owner's manual so yet another hidden compartment for it added to the mustang once again definitely a big fan so that is pretty cool that that is there as well and so next thing on my list heading back inside here is going to revolve around the traction control button which of course if you hit the traction control button that is going to turn traction control off but if you hold that traction control button down it will actually turn off the advanced traction control what the difference is between the traction control and advanced traction control i do not know and so my next cool little feature about the S550 Mustang is when you get extremely low on gas and that low fuel light actually comes on for you, if your SYNC 3 system is equipped with the factory navigation system, that navigation system will automatically pull up all the available gas stations nearby wherever you are located. So I do not actually have the factory navigation system because I have Android Auto, which in my opinion is just as good, but the factory navigation system will provide you with little things like that as well as the ability to go under tunnels and not lose navigation end up in the Appalachian Mountains and a couple other things but anyways it is pretty cool that the factory nav will give you the nearby gas stations when it recognizes that the fuel is low the QR codes they are absolutely everywhere let me show you guys here like I said they are absolutely everywhere however if you were to try scanning them it is not going to come up with diddly squat so pretty sure this is something that Ford uses internally to try to put the parts on the car to help them with their organizational processes at least that's what I'm going to guess but they are absolutely everywhere around the Ford Mustang and found that interesting because again if you pull out your smartphone and you try scanning these suckers absolutely nothing is going to happen 
Next thing on my list to open that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob as expected. That is one way to get it unlocked. However, you would think the other button would be somewhere on the hatch that actually opens up. For instance, I know the Dodge Challenger I just reviewed was right around here, but with the Mustang, it is nowhere on the hatch. It is actually, I have to go up and under. Actually, this little black patch right here. And if you press that, that is actually where the button is located to unlock this. So not really a big deal, honestly. You do get used to it, but I do find it kind of funny that that button is located not on the rear hatch, but just above the rear license plate here. And that is how you're gonna unlock that thing. Kind of interesting. And again, for non-Mustang owners, you're probably not gonna know that. But if you have one, of course, you already know that. Found that pretty cool having just purchased this car that that was located right there. So, but then the very last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is regarding the center armrest or underneath the center armrest. Of course, you have this little storage compartment here, but if you look underneath there, there are pen holder. And yes, this is supposed to be used for absolutely nothing else but besides pens. So you may not stick your pencil in there. This is specifically for pens. I wanted to mention that because thought that was pretty cool and honestly it is quite useful that it's there because you never know when somebody's gonna rear end you and you're gonna have to exchange insurance information jot down their insurance info and a lot of times with other vehicles you're constantly searching for your pen but with the Ford Mustang they are conveniently located right under that center armrest there so that is for pens only please no pencils and so but that is about it for this one you guys hopefully I got you on at least one of those let me know in the comments section below but that was 10 things you may not not have known about the Ford Mustang and Ford Mustang GT S550 at least of course with the S197 in previous generations it may be a little bit different so this is specific to the S550 but anyways as always appreciate you guys watching be sure to come by say hi October 20th YouTube call out and of course like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and I will see you guys in the next Stegosaurus vlog or review or whatever and as always stay gold